I'm Kate. And I'm Avon. And today we're dishing with you from Mio Restaurant, located at 1110 Vermont Avenue Northwest. And our guest today is Ski Johnson, who's a jazz artist and Grammy nominee. It's phenomenal. We're so happy to have you here. But I, the first I, thing I want to speak I'm ecstatic to be here, man. That's awesome. Thank you. How, how long have you and your sax been together? Together? <laughs> um, I've been playing for about 26 years. Okay. So it's like a very long-term relationship. Well, always nice. with this saxophone, because I don't know if the viewers can see the saxophone, but this is a very, very loved, very worn <laughs> instrument. And I think there's a, a story that goes along with how you started playing the saxophone, how you first got it the is. saxophone. I, um, I was at Duke Ellington School for the Performing Arts in Georgetown. And I wanted, I was playing clarinet and I wanted to play um, sax, they said, well, if you want to make some real money, play the saxophone. So I, so I started. Play, as opposed to like playing the guitar or, or clarinet. playing the harp? I was a clarinet. I wanted to be, a, okay. I wanted to be the Benny Goodman. Okay. Um, so um, what, what did you mean by real money? I mean, just Because it was a more marketable instrument. Okay, true. Hmm. So I, I worked at McDonald's and I worked for the uh, <laughs> Mayor and Barry Summer Youth Program. I saved all my money. I was supposed to buy school clothes. But uh, I bought this instrument, and I've had it ever since. Well, a stylish man who knows a stylish instrument. Now you have just loads of sponsors. I mean, the clothes are flooding in, the cars are flooding in. Yeah. Tell me about your cars. The uh, Rolls Royce and Bentley. You know. Um, so do you actually just drive Rolls Royces and Bentleys? Well, right? the Bentley, I, they, the Bentley I keep, but the uh, Rolls Royce I, they uh, show for me. It's, it's a. It's a seven hundred thousand dollar car, <laughs> so I can't, I can't let me drive it. They, they only show for me. So. And I'm, I'm sure the only music you're listening to in that car is jazz music, soulful jazz. Oh, your own, things, right? <laughs> I, no, no. I, actually, I listen to everything. Oh, really? Is that, do you get inspiration from all kinds of music? Everything, everything. I mean, when I say everything, I mean everything. I just, everything from Yanni to uh, punk rock. I listen to everything. That because, is the spectrum right there. That is punk rock. That's, I can't believe I'm about to admit this, but Yanni was my first concert ever. So right on. What's wrong? Like in public? <laughs> yeah. Um, but okay, I mean, I've listened to your newest album, New Beginnings. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide, this is not your first album, but New Beginnings, what's the new beginning? I, you know, this is my eighth album, and I've made a lot of mistakes in the business. I've, I've learned a lot of lessons. When I say lessons, a whole lot of lessons. And this album was a turning point, New Beginnings. I've dedicated to the American Cancer Society. The one album that I dedicate to a cause in my whole career goes to number one and is nominated for three Grammys. So I think there's a story in there. It's it's it's, it's something to be said about that, and um, you know it's God's will. So I, I you know, I, I think it's it's my time. What was a turning point uh, that? Can you give me an example of a turning point that got you to new beginnings, as yeah. well as one of those lessons to, you learned? Yeah, to, 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 to decide to uh, being on tour. You know, being young and having too much money too fast and being. Um, out of control. You're wilding out. Probably, yeah, yeah, out of control. I mean, but you know, you learn, and and now at this point, my my thing is just be humble. You know, be humble and thankful, and that you're that you're having these blessings. You know, that's my thing. So it's a huge blessings. The Grammy nomination, which is huge. So my question is, if Kanye were to come up on stage. While you were accepting your award, what would you say? I give him a hug. What's what? up? <laughs> hey, my man. I <laughs> love you. I love you. What are you doing? <laughs> you wouldn't hit him with the sax? No, I wouldn't. Okay, okay. Well, how does it feel to be a Grammy nominee? I mean, a three-time Grammy nominee. But, but how does that well, feel? you gotta understand. It's, my first record came out in 1988. It's now 2009, about to be 2010. It took me all that time, and I made a lot of mistakes. So I mean, I'm grateful, I'm happy, but I'm I'm excited. But I'm it's almost like surreal because it's not like it's not like um, it's just not like it's really happening. Because 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 now it now it doesn't mean it means a lot, but it, it's just not as much as it would have meant. You know, I'm not going to react the same as I would have acted maybe 10 years ago. So you appreciate it more because of all the 20, uh, 20 odd years you've put absolutely, into this. Absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and you, know, you know, because I've made those mistakes and I've learned so much and I've grown wiser, that I, I, I take everything sort of a different way, you know. I, you know I me, mean, a different stride. So, do you think there's added pressure then that the next album will also be nominated for a Grammy, or are you just kind of well taking it slow and having um, another new beginning? 
No, I mean, it's no added pressure because you have to understand, I am not your typical jazz artist. I've never been. I've always um, uh, did my own thing. You know, I talk on my records. You know, most jazz artists don't talk on their records. I, I you know, I, I put hip hop beats and play over them. That's unheard of for jazz art. They don't do that, and I've always done that. But I've been consistently doing the same thing for 20 years. It just so happens that the will or the stars, so to speak, are lining up at this time, and that's and it's my time. Well, DC's kind of a, DC's kind of known. I think DC's known for jazz. We have an annual jazz festival. You mentioned Duke Ellington. Um, do you think um, Do you think that that you were always influenced to be a jazz artist because of those influences around the DC area, or do you think that you have helped to make DC into the jazz area that it is today? No, it's always been that. Okay. U Street, Howard Theater. Was it was that corridor? Duke Ellington's from here. Marvin Gaye. From, I mean, it, 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 it's always been there. Um, I, I am a I am a son of them. I'm I, I, I'm recognizing from them that this is you know that I've I've taken what you've created and put back. You've mentioned a few other artists, Marvin Gaye, Duke Ellington, and and, and so forth. What would you be your dream collaboration with, you know, playing the sax, jazz, any genre of music? Not Kanye. Um, I want to do an album <laughs> with Jay-Z. I want to do an album, but I want all these people, all these different people on the album. Jay-Z, uh, Diane Carroll, oh, um, I wow. want um, uh, Nita Baker. I, I, I would like to have... Um, uh, what's my man? I, I love Frank Sinatra. I, I oh, would, yeah. maybe, his, maybe his son. I, I, I mean, I love. I, I, I mean, I, I would like to have just all genres yeah. and me playing to all genres because it would be so creative, so creative to do that. And I just think it would be just nice to have all those genres of music on the album. I think it would be That'd be very interesting. You don't see that a lot. You don't right. see that a lot with, with with any particular type of music. So right, right, right. Well, where do you hope this goes for you? Well, of course we hope you win the Grammy, but Thank and you. after that, what? Another, another. Another top album. Head? I'm doing a 40 city tour with American Cancer Society. Great. Um, An event coming up also on the 27th yeah, yes, with yes. the American Cancer I'm Society. I'm doing a, a major chilled out, relaxed event at the W Hotel overlooking nice. the uh, White House, yeah. and uh, it's on the terrace. And the POV is going to be gorgeous. Um, I want to invite everybody to come out. It's going to be nice. And it's the benefit of the American Cancer Society. So please support and, um, you know, you know, see, you know, make sure, you know, come out and support the event. Maybe so the Obamas gonna... will hear the music and just come on over. <laughs> Maybe they <laughs> like, will. What's but that sound? but I'm inviting all chill. my, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm inviting all my celebrity friends. It's going to be nice, man. And, 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 uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I'm so blessed to be able to, to do this music and to be able to get to this point. You know, I, I put it, it, it's all God's will. It really is. Well, we're so happy to have you. Congratulations on your Grammy nominations. Thank you, Kate. And Thank you. Congratulations on being number one in the Jazz Billboard charts thank you. right thank now you. and on all of your success. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. And as always, thank you for joining us here on this episode of The District Dish.